right, so now since we're back at the shop, got a better look at what we got. This block had already started being assembled. And for some reason they stopped on it. I don't know how long ago. But this is what happens to a block that's clean. Had it been left over with the oil and grease on it, we wouldn't have all of this. But since it was clean and it started being assembled, we got to disassemble it and de-rust it. These were all new pistons and liners. They're trash now. Let's see if we can save the cams. If not, we've got to hold out the other engine. It's an old style block, just like the other one. So luckily the customer had a spare block, it saved him a bunch of money. But what we did discover is that these liners are 20 thousandths instead of standard. So now we've got to reorder our parts to get 20 thousand liners. I'm gonna finish disassembling it clean it and start back up with it again. The person we're on the phone with, it's actually another one of our good customers. If they take it, I probably will. It's a, uh, it's a shop that's not too far from here, probably about 20 minutes. Totally down. Uh, so they gotta get it in it's that calling us about some counterful. various machine work, uh, checking some heads for cracks, boring and decking a, uh, sounds like a Cummins block. Um, the truck working? We're just trying to get all the details because, of course, like us, he has a customer that he's got to go That's through. Really so really before he sends us to work, he's going to make sure that his customer wants to spend that kind of money. Okay. Sounds like it's not going to be cheap. But if you're curious as to what we were doing just now, we were pulling these liners. Yeah. Uh, Chancing it. The chance of the facility. And like you said, put it up for sale. Okay. Pulling these liners yeah, using this special tool. It. The way it works. Yeah, it's it's right. Loose liner. Um, yeah. Without being in the piston. Basically, these yeah, are airbox ports. That is not. You just take this tool, put your spring loaded. Right, thank you, Bob. Put it inside the port. And then you rotate the engine and you use the piston to push the liner out. This is how they're supposed to come out, unlike the other day, the ones that we had to force out that were just seized up. Now that we got all the liners out, we'll continue doing our thing. 